We're still exceptionally positive about the investigation. We feel now like we're narrowing the scope of the investigation. And we also believe that uh, we may have someone in custody by Monday over the weekend. The way things are progressing, and we have, we have followed on every bit of information that we've received. But now it's time to make the determination resolve some questions and by virtue of that process we feel like we're narrowing our scope and we're just getting closer. We do not yet know your name, but we will. You are the key to the solution of the worst murder in our city's history. We know that you have seen or heard something and that you want to tell us the truth. These men have killed at least six times, coldly and without feeling. They will not hesitate to kill again. You will almost certainly be their next victim, if only to ensure your silence. I stand ready to meet with you at the time and place of your choosing. You will receive $50,000 reward upon the arrest and conviction of the true killers. Well, most of them tell me that they're scared and they just rather have a gun in the house that they, you know, they just want to use them. If they have to, they're going to use them. Instead of doing that, he uh, uh, went back to his car. When he come back, he just run up to him and said, "Bow." Oh, I said, "Oh God, he done shot him." I said, "He done shot the man." I said, "He done shot him." I said, "He done shot him." Sure enough, he had the boy staying out there in the field. Thank you. 
now it's almost impossible to predict with any degree of certainty what schools a student might be attending. Under this plan, it'll be possible for parents to take a look at the sub-district they would be a part of and know that their youngsters would start in kindergarten with their peers and be able to forecast their student housing school assignments to the 12th year. For one thing, it would mean that students would be able to stay together uh, with their peers uh, from kindergarten through the 12th year. Now, it would mean to parents that uh, when they are selecting homes, for instance, and where they're going to live, that they could forecast what schools their children would attend from kindergarten through the 12th year. Now, we believe that'll bring a great deal of stability, not only to the school system, but to Oklahoma City as a whole. Satisfactory because yes. that question was raised. I know in the memo. Very well, then we won't pull out number two. <clears throat> Which case it is. It's you district, aren't you? Yes. Well, we're speaking. Entertain the surrounding property. We would ask at this time that you entertain a motion to vote on number one, to dismantle the present facilities on the grounds that they are a hazard and represent a liability. Number two, that they prohibit the construction of permanent camping facilities at the fairgrounds until such time that the private sector can no longer meet the demand. And I think this council is gonna to have to develop some very refined and strict guidelines so that in fact it is going to be used only for people that have some very important business to attend to right there and or that it can be used as an overflow facility. But I'm very opposed to the continued operation of this at rates that are only half what the commercial rates are.
we support uh, the find uh, the recommendation of the committee that there not be any school closing, consolidation, or new construction until there's a professional study conducted on school facilities in the district. We think that that is very important if we're going to achieve both racial balance and equity in busing. I guess that the most exciting thing about the plan is that of developmental learning concept, uh, providing an equal an individualized instructional program for all students. We support uh, that in concept. facing down this way. The other suspect, which was Dennis, was laying in a relationship approximately right here. Both subjects were down on their bellies. We cuffed, we rolled both subjects right quick, pulled a shotgun out from under Dennis, we cuffed him, we cuffed Lancaster, moved the shotgun which was laying on his left side, rolled him and pulled a 357 out of his belt. start shooting back. I charge today that the Children's Memorial Hospital is being used as an operational center for drug traffic 
and stolen state property, and that for at least the last 30 days, Lloyd Rader has been aware of such activities. Despite this knowledge, no arrests have been made, no prosecution has been undertaken. Indeed, two of the apparent ring participants are still working inside Children's Hospital on the state payroll. Um, and, and was an order by the judge requiring alleviation of the overcrowding stay before the, of the reduction order and it granted by 50 per stated from the bench. I think that all of you have a copy of it. Since this lawsuit began, this, I think that the court can execute on property held, in fact, I know they can, on property held by the state of Oklahoma to pay the bills. Now, I do not believe, though, that this state nor the court wish to look for a confrontation in the area. I am sure, from my experience in reading the history books, that the last time the states decided to revolt against the federal government that they lost. I charge today that the Children's Memorial Hospital is being used as an operational center for drug traffic and stolen state property, and that for at least the last 30 days, Lloyd Rader has been aware of such activities. Despite this knowledge, no arrests have been made, no prosecution has been undertaken. Indeed, two of the apparent ring participants are still working inside Children's Hospital on the state payroll. The only drug activities that have occurred at the hospital, we had three employees who were discovered smoking marijuana in their car at a lunch break at the hospital. All three employees were fired. All three employees were arrested. All three employees were turned over to the district attorney for prosecution. We had one security officer at the hospital who is reputed to have had some drugs in his apartment and perhaps a piece of hospital equipment. Our police officers went to that apartment. They searched it. Uh, they did confiscate some things that appeared to be drugs and perhaps marijuana. And they did find one piece of hospital equipment.
reason I brought it up is that as Merle himself on many occasions has said that this uh, Merle, you have an uncanny ability, along with one other person I've known in my lifetime to, you know, just get in a particular position, normally during political campaigns, you know, that's normally when, when, when it happens, and, <clears throat> and, and I've noticed over the years that any time that a person doesn't have any merits of their own t uh, to talk about, they try to find some demerits. Uh, but they just never do somewhere else. And this is the same identical form contract. You voted on those same contracts for three years yourself. You knew when you started out this morning that you weren't going to get this rescinded. You knew that. You, you already knew it. You just wanted a little conversation about it, a little publicity. carbons and particulates. Both of these pollutants would greatly increase if the West Bay spoke to the Coalition for Clean Air. 70 requires Oklahoma to attain and main the center of the present right of way. Now move to item uh, K, K. To the rest of <laughs> That was the motion. Grand Boulevard, you should be aware. I'll move item K, K. We have a motion. Second. We have a second. All of you discussion. All this expert advice that we're going to get is, as I say, going to the union or serves the city uh, is irrelevant. Sometimes the outside experts, they are so unfamiliar with what's going on locally, uh, you know, that they may understand all about the forest, but they can't identify the trees. I think that the importance of having effective representation on that arbitration panel is that the is that our representative will have a substantial impact on what the neutral representative thinks, and that's, that's where the value of his efforts come in. Five and nine are all here. We've had 10,000 requests for record checks. We've uh, compared 30,000 fingerprints. And of the 200 prints lifted at the crime scene, uh, we've identified, uh, uh, positively identified six people, of course. On vehicles, uh, we've had uh, 1,038 suspect vehicles reported to us, and we've checked out 400 to date. In fact, we've got some more checking to do, about 600 of those. And then again, we've got the FBI here, Mr. Al Floatman, and we have the program evaluation review technique being used to keep abreast of the reports and the information coming in and the evidence coming in. And that's where we are right now. In fact, as, as of yesterday, I signed the 10 officers from the Organized Crime Squad and Lieutenant to also work on this case with Major Wilder.
if this involved damages of the policy, which typically would be in place of the insurance company. Later on, when... Later on, when more beds are opening, we may be able to consider an increase in the rate of this program, or we may be able to add granite to the program. Uh, and so I would suggest that later this fall we might reconsider the size of the program and consider perhaps expanding it. But I know that for the next couple of months we cannot do better than 50. And in fact, it's going to be a challenge to do 50.
solution to it. Oh, so this is why the principal will not be. It comes under alternative in studio and selling all the equipment. My motion is one. I feel very strong that uh, that we can save Channel 25. I feel like that though we, like Mr. Ginn said, we do not have the money to go ahead and pump in a real first class station out of it. I feel like Channel 25 is pretty first class the way it is because it's one of the stations that uh, I'm told by many parents that they can allow their children to watch. Them. We will have maintenance someplace on the interstate system in the Oklahoma City metropolitan area going all the time. Uh, people will have to learn, you know, to expect this. It's not something that's unique to uh, Oklahoma City. It's common to all metropolitan areas. Surprisingly, the patients were very calm, cool, and collected. The, one of the patients made a comment that um, you seem more concerned than we do at this particular time. Um, but the staff did quite well, and all the patients were off within 10 minutes. At three o'clock, we had us walk out, and we're in uh, implemented our strike plan. We have four stations in operation at this time. Probably implement four more stations in the next few minutes. We will give a limited service to the public. We'll do everything we can do to give them protection. That's about all I can say at this time.
What is the reason that you've decided to take this action? And I ask him to answer four questions. Basically, are you a homosexual or a bisexual? Have you ever been? Have you ever practiced these uh, things? So on. It's set forth in the letter. And then I told him that uh, as a candidate for the United States Senate, the people are entitled to have these questions answered. reprimands for any of them? Uh, none at this time other than they will be ducked uh, the amount of pay of the hours that they were out equally on all three shifts. But you're just taking them back, no questions asked? I am at this time, yes. just say that uh, anyone uh, who would repeat such statements there is a clear-cut choice between the candidates in this election you have a choice between this kind of campaign tactic which I resent so very much because it reflects not only on my reputation but on that of my wife on that of my children and my family my own response to this will be to work twice as hard for my husband's election. I will reread the 27th Psalm and work very, very hard. I don't think there's anybody foolish enough. What we're trying to do is in our neighborhood watch program when we are encouraged them to uh, watch for burglars or prowlers or vandalism, whatever, then we're also uh, having them check if there is a fire that breaks out in the neighborhood to, uh, you know, be aware of anybody that's running from the area or maybe somebody that was prowling around because a person could possibly, you know, be there for arson rather than burglary or vandalism. So we are encouraging the people now to also be aware of uh, the people, you know, that are coming into the neighborhood that are strangers or maybe don't belong, 
and write down the description. And then also, if there's a fire that breaks out uh, close to that particular time, to call it to the fire department's attention. Well, the Department of Public Safety, which is, has the responsibility for uh, providing security for the governor at all times, was immediately notified of the incident in Tulsa, and they have increased the security which will accompany the governor and also other candidates, too, it's my understanding. Uh, some of the candidates have contacted the Department of Public Safety, those that have felt that there is a need for it. Uh, troopers have been dispatched uh, to fill whatever needs they, they think exist at this time. I don't know the exact numbers of the number of people that have been increased, but I know that there has been a significant increase in the number of people that were originally assigned to be here tonight. This has been a very confusing evening. The only thing I know for sure, and it makes me very happy, as I left home this evening, I only had the reports from the district that I've represented for 30 years. And it was a heartwarming report, and it's still the only final report I've had on any county or any area. And the people that I've had the romance with for 30 years voted for me two to one over all of the opposition. I've to just been told that the latest reports put us in second place. Ward is the man accused of firing a gun at Attorney General Derry Berry Tuesday night. He's being held on $50,000 bail and faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted of the felony charge of pointing a gun at Derry Berry. A Tulsa judge gave Ward another day before his arraignment in order for him to get an attorney. District Attorney S.M. Buddy Fallis Jr. says charges may not be filed against 30-year-old Charles Jordan. Jordan was arrested yesterday afternoon on charges that he helped Ward in carrying out that shooting.
The city has now ordered the subcontractor to stop work on this septic tank so they can have time to run new soil tests. John Armstrong of the State Health Department says it's inconceivable to him that the engineers would have ever designed a system like this. Even worse, they would have approved the soil test. He says he just can't imagine that the city engineers would have approved of any of these things. Uh, I think there's a, dis a very, very real possibility of selective enforcement against students. Um, I don't want to go as far as to say I think this is total ordinance is designed against the students, but I will say that I believe the possibility of selective enforcement against the students is very real and very present. The problem is still as bad when the student population basically is not here as it is when they are here. So I would contend that this is not a student problem, it's a community problem. All I can say is that the drinking of a cereal malt beverage has no more consequence on city image than drinking a can of pop. And there is an image problem, I've looked at it myself, and it hangs again in the trash receptacles. That's causing us an image problem because there's nowhere to put your trash. Moving 200 students to another school is going to make a heck of a lot of difference. See, we're about 200 less than we were last year. So that in itself, we've already moved five annexes. And as soon as we get our demountable put together, and they're going to be pouring the steps tomorrow, I understand, if they do that, we'll be in it Monday. And if we get that, then we can move five more.
believe it's the temperature change and the earth movements what would cause it. Anything to do with the severe winter last winter and the summer? No, we don't believe that would have anything to do with it at all. What kind of temperature changes are you talking about? Well, we've had the, the uh, hot weather and the dry weather, which would cause the earth to move and, and the water temperature changing. I wish I could say I was in favor of it, but I sincerely can't be. I'm afraid all we're going to do is have higher prices for the consumer, and yet because of the bureaucratic nightmare that we're creating, I'm afraid we're not going to have any more production.